Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're gonna talk about how much money do you need to have invested into a dividend stock in order to retire around the world. We're gonna take a trip around the world to see where can you guys retire today off of your dividend portfolio. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Hey, welcome back dreamers. If you guys wanna be a part of the dream team, make sure that you scroll down and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button because it really helps out this channel a lot. So if you guys been following along in the investing world, a lot of people have been trying to retire off of their dividends portfolio alone to see how long it would take for them to retire and live off of their dividends. Well, I've been growing my dividend portfolio for about a year now, and so far on a yearly basis, I'm gonna bring in around $467. I know that's a lot of a lot. I use trackmydividends.com in order to track all of my dividends. It's gonna tell me when I get paid out, how much I'm gonna get paid, and how much I'm gonna make yearly off of my dividend portfolio. I'm gonna leave my link in the descriptions to trackyourdividends.com. It's completely free to sign up. They do have a paid version if you wanna have access to more of their tools. But if you guys just wanna sign up and track your dividends, it's completely free and the link is down in the description. So like I said, I'm bringing in around $467 of dividends alone this year from growing my portfolio in a little over a year. I invest $200 every single week into the stock market and I buy dividend stocks growing my dividend income every single week. In order for me to find out where can I retire off of my dividend income right now, all you have to do is go to Google, type in average income per household for each country, and then they'll bring up the average income for that country in this list right here. And as you guys can see, if we order it from the most expensive places to live to the cheapest places to live, I can't retire anywhere <laughs> yeah, i can't retire anywhere not yet so i'm going to continue to grow my portfolio it's a cool little neat trick that i use to uh trick my mind trick my my mindset to keep investing into the stock market until i eventually retire where i want to retire so the top three most expensive places to live is lexingburg norway and sweden with the United States coming in at number six. It's the sixth most expensive place to live on earth. So in this video, we're gonna figure out how much do you have to have invested into the stock market in order to retire in the United States. And also, since I'm so far away from retiring in Sweden or Norway, we're gonna look at two other places that I would probably like to retire, which is Portugal and Mexico. We're gonna find out how expensive it is to live in those countries and how much money I need invested into the stock market in order to retire in all three countries. The dividend stock that we're gonna use in this video is AT&T, tickle symbol T. It's in the S&P 500 and it has a dividend yield of 6.88%. They pay around $2.05 per share annually on their dividends. Right now, they are dividend aristocrats. That means they have increased their dividend payouts for the last 25 years, every single year. In fact, AT&T is on their 36th year of increasing their dividends. So they're well on their way of becoming dividend kings. Dividend kings are companies that are in the S&P 500 that has increased their dividends over the last 50 years. So AT&T has increased their 36 years, so they have a little ways to go in order to become dividend kings, but I think that is their goal in order to reach the dividend king status to become part of the elite dividend groups. Right now, AT&T is around $29.95. So we're gonna use this stock, which is a pretty good stock, a great dividend stock, in order to see how much money do we need invested into the stock market in order to retire in the countries of your choosing. The first country we're gonna look at is the United States of America, the USA. The average income household is around $43,500 per household. So that's how much you need to make off your dividends in order to retire in the United States to live a somewhat comfortable life. A lot of people would like to make much more than 60, 70, $80,000 per year retiring off their dividends, but you can live in the United States off of $43,500 and retire with that money and live a somewhat comfortable life. 
So in order to make $43,000 per year from investing to AT&T, you will need 20,954 shares. And with each share, you're gonna make around $2.08 per share, meaning that you will have to invest $627,500 into AT&T in order to accumulate that many shares in order to retire in the United States of America. The next place on the list is Portugal. I see a lot of dividends investors starting the fire challenge in order to retire in Portugal. It's a pretty cool city. They have pretty beaches, cheap food, cheap houses, and it's an amazing, beautiful sight to see over in Portugal. In Portugal, the average income household makes around $16,000 per year. So it's a big drop off from the United States, but you'll be able to live comfortably over in Portugal with pretty sites and pretty beaches and it's a it's much cheaper to live over there so that's why a lot of people are choosing to retire over there because it's kind of easier to get your portfolio to the state to where you can make sixteen thousand dollars per year in dividends alone so using the same formula we're going to take at&t and invest all our money into this one company to see how many shares we would need to live in portugal Compared to the United States where you need over 20,000 shares, in Portugal, you will only need 7,781 shares. So it's a dramatic decrease. It's a big difference in order to retire in another country than it is to retire in America. 7,781 shares come out to be around $233,000. So you need to invest $233,000 into your stock portfolio into AT&T with a 6.88% dividend yield in order to retire in Portugal. I find that somewhat believable. I could save up over the next 5, 10, 15 years in order to get my portfolio to $233,000, invest that into AT&T and retire in Portugal in the next couple of years, well before I'm 50 years old. So that is why a lot of people are choosing to retire in Portugal. And the next country on the list is a place that I'm very interested in, the beautiful country of Mexico. Mexico, baby. It only costs $11,000 to retire in Mexico. $11,000 is the average income. So to be exact, it's $11,680 according to Google. Now, living in Mexico is a big difference in between living inland in Mexico and living in Cabo. I really wanna retire in Cabo, right there on the beaches, on the Love Bridge, on the Love Beach. I, I, Cabo is an amazing place that I visit that I really would like to retire in. I know the price is gonna be completely different than the average income of Mexico, but right now we're just gonna take the average income of Mexico and use the same formula to see how much it would cost to retire in Mexico. So in Mexico, you will only need 5,615 shares of AT&T in order to retire in Mexico. That is $168,000. A lot of people spend more than that on cars. I don't, I don't understand how they spend that much on cars, but they spend that on cars. Maybe that's what they're very interested in is cars, but a lot of people spend over $168,000 per year on stuff. I could see myself growing my portfolio in the next couple of years in order to get to $168,000, invest that into AT&T, by the time I do that, AT&T is going to be a dividend king and I'll be able to retire on the lovely beach of Cabo. So yeah, guys, to sum that up, I use trackyourdividends.com. It is a completely free website that I'm going to leave in the description. You guys can sign up if you want to. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the dream team. I have a lot more videos coming out soon that you guys don't want to miss. Down in the comment section, you guys tell me what country do you want to live in and, and tell me how much it would cost in AT&T shares in order for you to retire in the country that you live in now. So don't be discouraged that you guys have a small dividend portfolio. Just compare it to where can you retire at today and then continue to grow to your portfolio until you eventually reach where you want to retire in the future. But other than that, guys, leave a big thumbs up if you like this video. I'm Zeke. Bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.